Hey everyone, welcome back to Meet Me Ranch. I am Lynn and I'm going to try my hand at some hydroponics. This is called the Crack Key Method and I was listening to um, Living Free in Tennessee podcast and she tried growing lettuce in mason jars through this method and had pretty good success. So I'm going to do that since I have all this stuff on hand. Maybe I'll go up to a bigger system, but um, for now, I'm just going to use these mason jars and um, I have to cover them all in paper. You could paint them, but uh, you can't let any light get in or it creates molds and algae. I think it's algae, um, but, but it seems really simple. So you need obviously something to hold the water and grow in. You need these little net pots um, to hold the seeds and growing medium. Uh, above the water so those are going to sit inside the jars like that the seeds will be in there and the water of course in there to water the plants so here's one this size this is a two inch net pot fits perfectly on a regular size mason jar mouth um, with the lid on there to hold it down um, you need a growing medium so I got these wool blocks um, so the seed will go, you can kind of tell there's holes in these. Seed will go inside there. The wool will keep it nice and moist. These will go inside the net pots. And then these clay little nuggets will hold those pieces of wool down, weight it down, and also hold moisture. Once the seeds germinate, they will need nutrients. Um, this was what was recommended on a couple of podcast so that's what I got um, I will eventually try to see if my worm castings can supplement or take the place of uh, any kind of fertilizer like this uh, just to make it kind of a more um, in the in the cycle of our farm I don't have to bring in outside nutrients um, of course we'll need some seeds so I have a variety of lettuces my purpose is I will really want to grow lettuce for ourselves all year, but also for our pigs. So we have the two pot belly pigs, Fletcher and Meaty, and um, they're currently on diets. Well, Fletcher's on a diet, so he gets a lot of lettuce, and it gets pretty expensive um, to constantly get fresh salad greens for him. So I'd like to be able to grow our own. And let's see, I have a stack of paper over here that came in a delivery box that I will be using to wrap all of my mason jars. So I'll get that done real quick. Okay, so all the jars are covered with paper. Again, that's just to keep the light out so that hopefully algae doesn't build up. They will make checking the water level a little bit of a challenge, and I've heard of people like cutting a little window or door um, that they can peel down and check the water level, but we'll see how it goes. I just, I've been putting off this project, so I just want to get it going here. So um, first thing is you take your growing medium. This is, like I said, the wool, hydroponic rock wool. And I'm just going to dunk it in this water and get it saturated. And it's going to go in this little net. Hopefully I have this camera lined up right. It's going to go in this little net to hold it in place. And then I'm going to put my seed. Let's do... Um, a romaine. Put one or you know these are tiny lettuce seeds. They really can be difficult to work with because uh, they're just so small. So I don't know if you can see those there. So I'm just going to put a couple. Try to put just a couple in here. Um, you really only want one plant, but plant a couple of seeds, and then you can always thin them. So they just kind of go right in that hole. And then you can place that in your jar, just like that. And then we're going to put some of these rocks or clay pebbles to kind of hold it down. And actually, since my uh, net pots fit well, like I can screw this on and it will hold it down. I probably don't need the clay pebbles. But I think they'll help retain some of the moisture. Um, and then these are quart jars. So I'm going to dump my water right in there. It should fill it up because I want the 
the rock wool to be touching the water so that these seedlings can or these seeds can sprout and then over time that water will drop but we'll see that in another video so I have it pretty full I don't know if you can see that but pretty full and when I put that in there it is touching the water and you can see it's pretty lightweight so if I didn't have those pebbles in there it would probably float and then I'm gonna place my lid and just screw it on so that it doesn't float out and then that's basically it that'll sit for a couple of days and we'll eventually see the sprout come out um, the little seedlings start to come out and once the seedlings start to get established that's when I'll add um, these nutrients um, back here I'll add what's required for this size jar and um, they should really take off so I'm gonna finish up the rest of these and get them set up under some grow lights and we'll check back later on hand because I can um, I do well try to do a lot of canning um, I also save my jars so if I have to buy something uh, in a jar I save those those could be reused and I also pick them up at the thrift store when I find them and I think a bunch of these came from the thrift store they were 30 cents each every once in a while I'll get two two for one um, so pretty inexpensive to do it this way that's why I chose the mason jars and also because of watching Nicole's um, video uh, series on living free in Tennessee she used mason jars um, but super simple so far I think if I didn't have to wrap these if they were already wrapped it probably would have taken me five minutes to plant um, these I think there's 11 jars so I did three romaine two butterhead two bib two marvel bib and two black seed simpson and we'll see how they go uh, they don't need any light till they start to sprout um, but they do need to be warm so I'll have a little probably a little heater going for them and just kind of a financial breakdown here the wool I think there were 45 in this package was ten dollars the net pots there's 50 in that package was eleven dollars those could be re reused over and over and over and over again um, the clay pebbles were gosh that bag is so big it'll last me forever they were fourteen dollars and you can get a smaller bag but they were like the same price um, so i just got the big big bag i uh, figured i could use them for my cactus plants and stuff and the most expensive thing were the nutrients and you do well from what i read you do need to get hydroponic um nutrients this is a gallon size it was the best bang for the buck um, it did not have free shipping so it worked out to $43 for that gallon size what I understand is it will last me forever um, and again I'd really like to see if I can get uh, this all switched over to using my worm castings because I do have a worm bin that's been going strong for almost four years now so um, that would eliminate the need for this and, and the $43 charge so if I didn't need to get the nutrients it would have been a 10 20 30 maybe 35 dollar investment plus the jars and a lot of that is reusable so i'm imagining the clay pebbles are reusable the net pots are definitely reusable um, so pretty inexpensive setup if this works which i'm pretty sure it will um, to have lettuce all year and uh, so i'll update a little bit later maybe once a week if i see some activity and see how these are going and just to one little mention is there is a big movement in the organic industry um, as far as actually the real organic industry that does say that hydroponics and aquaponics aren't really an organic process because part of organics is uh, growing your soil so feeding the soil enriching it um, and that's part of sustainability and since these are soilless um, hydroponics and and aquaponics have been kind of uh, poo-pooed on I guess but you know I think everybody needs to do what they need to do I need lettuce in the winter time I'm tired of buying expensive lettuce for my pigs over winter um, and the waste from this so the roots that's all gonna go in my compost if the pigs don't eat the roots 
Um, so, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you think is right. I think it's still better for me to grow my own food even this way than to buy it from the grocery store. Uh, of course, I could do without, but um, that's not always feasible either. So anyway, just wanted to, to actually acknowledge that I understand that this is not technically a real organics project, um, but it is going to put food on my table and food in my pig's bellies. So Fletcher and Miti will certainly appreciate the effort. So we'll check back later. Thanks.